came up here, we don't have to work because the air was different, more thin than Hawaii. So coach was putting us to drills. And while we was going through it, today was a good, very good practice. So it seemed like the boys are ready. And really excited for this game. Uh, what are some of the keys uh, for you guys to come out on top t tomorrow? All I see is our, is our center of attention, the O line and the D line. It all starts up in the center. You guys started with a little bit of a hiccup uh, first game. Second game, you guys got back on track. Uh, uh, do, you, do you foresee uh, seeing you guys keeping on track uh, next game as far as running your offense and defense getting going? Yeah, I see, I see, I'll say the first game wasn't was really prepared for that game. It was slacking in practice, but as we felt the loss, because all these years we haven't been losing, but as we felt the loss, we knew we had to be ready for practice and work hard. So. As time went by, I was working hard in practice and been really good throughout this, this season so far. How do you think you guys, do you think you guys have uh, adjusted to, you know, the, the time zone change, the altitude? Uh, do you think that'll be a factor in tomorrow's game? No, I don't think so. I think we got this. We um, came up here and we felt all the jet lag and everything, but today we felt really good. We felt like we're used to it already. So we should be um, good for tomorrow. It should be a good game tomorrow. What do you know about East? All I know is that they got some good polys and they got some um, commitments to other colleges, but that don't mean nothing. Are you looking forward to another 100 yard plus game? Yeah, yeah. All depends on my old line, Teddy Bears. Can't wait.